welcome back to another one of my vlogs. Now, I'm showing this much of my face and not my top because it's my work top and yeah, um, we love bright colours. But it is a Thursday um, and I'm just about to pop out to an appointment. Um, so that should be fun. I am dreading it, but it'll be fine. Um, but before I go quickly, so I've got about 10, 15 minutes, um, I'm going to quickly dust my room and quickly hoover it because I hoovered it uh, the other day, but I didn't get to dust. Um, so I'm just going to make my time a bit attractive, make my bed because I didn't do that this morning. Um, have a quick bucket, Chris, and I'm going to head out for my appointment and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Um, but I thought I'd start this vlog now because tomorrow I'm going for like a brunch breakfasty thing with Matt's mum and sister which is just so nice and it's just actually putting plans into action um so that's one thing I wanted to do and then around half about well, half four I've got a table booked um for me and a really good friend of mine like close family friend catching up on Malika's videos I quickly thought I'd just show you this oh I just love her so much and she's just been talking about my channel which is really kind of her and lovely and also saying about how long we've known each other and yeah nearly six years blows my mind how fast that time has gone if you watch our old videos like our old london vlogs we're gonna recreate that um in the summer this year which i i cannot tell you so excited for but yeah so it's now friday my hair is living its own life um but oh i had the best sleep I slept so solidly, honestly, it was glorious. Um, so as you guys know, I've got the day off today, and I've got the day off, well, the morning off tomorrow. Um, so today I am going out. I think it's like, it's not. I, if you guys remember the vlog where I was with Matt's mum and we went to go and get like dog and cat food, and they had like the horse section, and I thought that cat food was ice cream. Don't judge. Watch the vlog and you'll understand. Um. So basically we're going near there, but there's a really cute cafe apparently. Um, so we're going to go there for some sort of like brunch, breakfasty kind of vibes, which could be really nice. Matt's mum and Matt's sister and myself. And then later on I'm going for drinks and food, which I'm, yes again, very excited for. This is outfit option one. The lighting is not doing it justice at all. I'd wear something on top, obviously. This is a co-ord from Sheen. The trousers are a bit tight. So I'm not sure how I quite feel about the trousers. The top, however, I'm obsessed with. Um, it is flattering, I think. But obviously the trousers are quite tight. The poster's just come through. Um, but I think it's cute with my gold necklace. This is the Decided Upon outfit. Um, this is a new top from Hollister. Shown in my previous vlog, I believe. I'm wearing these trousers because I bloody love them. And I've got my gold necklace on that I absolutely love the passion. I put all my rings on pretty much. I've just got rid of this one. Um, Louise says she do my hair up. I'm seeing whether, because like high, high pony to tail vibes, I'm thinking. But I've got my Primark, two pound sunglasses on. These sunglasses are honestly a vibe. And if I ever lose them or ever give them to anyone on a night out, I'm actually going to watch this back and shoot myself because they are so cute. Um... But yeah, so this is a vibe. I'm gonna wear trainers as always. Um, and I'll be getting picked up soon. So yeah, I'm actually quite liking the natural vibes and like just being a bit more chilled and casual. But this top is amazing. I've got it in camel too, like a camel toned. Um, and yeah, I'm obsessed. It's definitely hot. Oh, literally just popped a shot down my road because I thought, you know what? My smoking, getting real with you guys. Um, has got out of control again due to my like, stress levels and anxiety and I'm like you know what no I don't want this I don't want this lifestyle and I also know vaping is equally in ways not as good for you and I know there's stories about it <sighs> and this is another reason you know because I'm so unfit but my local shop does magic bars which I'm not trying to glamorize vaping I'm just being completely honest because that's what my channel is about me being me um so I got four magic bars for 20 quid because it just makes my heart so much more sense and that's to be sorted now. There is no excuse to buy fags. I'm determined. Determined. Um, I'll let you know how that goes after I've been drinking. But, you know, because I tend to want a cigarette more when I'm drinking. I'm back home from brunch with Matt's mum and sister. It was honestly so good, but I'm in so much pain right now. Um... So yeah, but I've had my two phone calls with the doctors and the consultants and things and we're on the right path, fingers crossed, but I'm going to start my makeup 
Um, it's half past two, I've got two hours, but I'd rather get ready, feel better. I was going to wear a dress and feel really glam, but I'm literally, because of how much pain I'm in, and I'm bloating like mad, this is the outfit we're going with. It's cute, it's comfortable. Um, so yeah, but let's just sort my face out. I'm going to listen to some music and just, yeah try and cheer up a little bit because it's not been it's been so lovely with matt's mum and sister and i've got to go back to this place again because it was literally like a farmhouse and it was so super nice and the food was bloody amazing the cozy club don't do cozy eggs anymore or they don't at the moment anyway because they changed their menu hopefully in the summertime they might bring them back but this place did basically just as good as cozy cozy eggs but obviously not cozy eggs so obviously we'll be using this foundation it is so dirty but it's one of my favorites into this drawer what are we thinking so obviously my two blenders um eyelash glue of course eyeliner i've lost my barry m pigment which i'm really sad about so their real mascara can i just say it's absolutely amazing i absolutely love it next pen just to fill in any gaps um I think I'm just going to use my Urban Duchess. Favourite concealer, it is running low, so I may need to get another one out. Primer, which is also running low, I need to get another one. I may test this out today a bit more. Switch concealer. This stuff is going to focus. There you go. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I think it's due for a NARS one. Brow powder, bronzer highlight favorite little eyeshadow palette which once again thinks being discontinued is in pumpkin spice by elf absolute staple i think that's everything in there how many sponges i've got now <laughs> i have got the born this way Too face foundation that i need to try that i got from beauty bay but i'm going to get this one concealer out from revolution a hell of a lot cheaper than the more expensive one but still just as good so we've got my contour palette of course i'm going to go and do my teeth first because i just always feel like it makes a difference. What's this? Plump it. Uh, nah. Mm. No, that's just a new brow pencil. Um, oh, I may actually use some of this one. Soft Glam from Revolution. The packaging is so nice. Lash-wise, though, I don't have any of my favourite favourites. So we may just have to go with a different lash. they're quite nice i'm not using the tutty ones because they well it says foam ink does that mean it's let me know guys if it says foam ink does it mean they're not i don't want to use them otherwise pl 81s are a beautiful lash what was this one mm, that's nice So, um, this vlog's not going to plan at all because I've been so mentally and physically unwell. Um, honestly, the estate of my parents will show you that. I just, things have happened and they've hit me like really hard, really hard. But anyway, we move. I'm going to talk about something a bit more exciting. So I've ordered off it somewhere else, but it hasn't arrived yet, so I may have to contact them. But this is from Pound Lashes. As we know, one of my favourite brands ever. And if I'm being honest, I could see myself just getting lashes from them. I may try a few lashes from other places, but this is the biggest order I've ever done from them so far. Give it time. So this is what, let me open this as well. That's what it looks like inside so i ordered a lot of lashes like well oh, they're really nice um a lot of lashes um oopsies but i'm gonna basically have a massive clear out of my lashes um and give away loads that oh, they just look so good so i've got um the 4d range which is one of my favourites for the style Halo. 
so i've bought 10 pairs of halo oh we've got another flutter let's put them together it just brings me so much joy another flutter oh did i get a flutter bloody hell um that's halo they're their extension range which i've never tried before delvine halo halo their lashes are so inexpensive 1.99 i think mainly um are these all i swear i ordered another i could be very wrong though not oh, clearly not so yeah i ordered 10 pairs of halo just to be a bit extra be stocked up because these are honestly like my favorite lash that i tried from anywhere and when they're so inexpensive and they normally always run out of stock of those so whenever they've got them i always try to stock up i think i've got more, more, more than one pair of these but then i got also from the 4g collection delvine if that's how you say it and then i got three flutters because they kind of look like halo but maybe just a bit like i'll compare them in a minute so this is flutter and then this is halo they are very 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 similar but they they have got a difference all right they have got a um so yeah and then also from the 4d range i picked up two of worldy because they just looked so nice so i've got two of these um and then from their salon extensions in a strip because I, can't, I don't have the money to get my lashes done. Um, so I got two of Gold Digger. Russian Extension Effects Super 5D Volume C and D Curl. Whatever that means. Um, so yeah. This is what they look like. I love the packaging. It's all recyclable. It's vegan and cruelty free. And they're so inexpensive. And then the last thing in here is their March. I've got another. Oh. Oh, well, I've already got some of those anyway, so that's perfect. So this is their March subscription box, because they do do a subscription box, and they had spares. So I thought, you know what? Let's just order it. Ooh. So it had lashes, and it also had some makeup items. <laughs> um, they're from the 4D range. And then we've got more Centre of Extensions. So we've got self love which look quite nice and another gold digger yes yeah, so gold digger so this is self love and obviously that's gold digger so yeah i've got about three six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen twenty three pairs of blushes as you do and then the makeup items look very interesting Ooh. Ooh. Well, we've got a now that looks like was a baking oil. Mm. Um, is this in? Doesn't have a shade though. Oh, transparent. Okay, so the makeup bits you get in here are the Maybelline Brow Drama 12 Hour Sculpting Brow Mascara, and this is in transparent. My hair, I look like such a mess. You also get the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner in Paris, I think. No, you don't. It's in 11 Spice. You get the Revolution Baking Oil, which hydrate and prep for flawless makeup applications. So I've never used anything like that before. So if you have, let me know. And then the lip paint is from L'Oreal and it's Nude on Fleek. It does look quite a nice colour. And I remember I used to love these from a long time ago and then this is the profusion contour makeup case oh that looks quite nice actually you know so you get mainly the four powders which is what i would be interested in because i don't like cream contour you get the little brush and then you get two cream shades so you get a cream light and a cream cream sculpt but i actually really like all of those contour shades and i think i could get such good use out of them so that's what that looks like so you know when you look at this like i'll probably be giving away the lip products um when i do my lashes maybe just like a bit of extra but the rest of them like i keep these two this one and the amount of lashes i've got is ridiculous oh, obviously i'll show you this is a lash situation <laughs> and i'll show you my lash drawer because i wouldn't be able to fit these in right now so all this out and 
Tidy up my room. Cut is so well, so I'm gonna do that in a second. This is currently my last drawer, so so many of these can get decluttered and yeah. Um, but one of my other favourite ones from Pound Lashes PL81. Such a nice lash. But as you can see, there are so many that I can declutter. I just don't use them. There's no point in having them. And it means that I can just stick to my favourite. So I'm going to quickly do my hair up. I think Matt's got my hairbrush. So I can't wash my hair until he comes. Um, but I'll clean the floor. I'm going to potentially get my studio light out very quickly because the lighting for when I'm trying to do my time lapses, because I like I like watching vlogs, uh, just doing general day to day life, but just to do a quick time lapse, put some music over the top of it, that's what I like to do. So, you know, I've got to put clean washing away, I need to empty some bags, sort my bed out, because on Friday when I'm off work, I'm going to put fresh bedding on and just completely sort of do that because that's been a long time overdue and clean my makeup brushes because my brushes have not been cleaned in a good... I don't even actually know whether I want to admit how long, but put it this way, obscenely long. The By Caitlin collection antibacterial and vegan makeup brush and sponge soap with silicone cleansing matte. And it smells like peaches, it actually kind of does. So, yeah, we're going to give it a go. Um, and then I'm going to go through on Friday as well, like my skincare. My makeup, I don't think needs going through that much because nothing's really changed. But I still want to have like a massive decal because when I do get my new furniture, I want to have like the bare minimum. I don't want anything to be cluttered. I want it just to feel fresh and good and not be hoarding stuff. So that's the aim. Yeah, I'm going to put all of that away and I'm just going to time lapse it. Maybe try and time lapse it on the shelf. Maybe that would be better lighting. I don't know. So it's now nearly quarter to six and I'm just going to quickly dust my room. So I'm going to dust my ladder shelf, my other shelves, that area. But it's a cabinet because that desperately needs doing. This area, in this area, get it done. And I'm also going to be moving my washing bin here, I think. Um, just because it looks a bit better. Or does it look better over there? I'm not too sure yet, but I just can't wait to have all white furniture. I'm not going to lie. But bed is kind of made yeah and then i'm gonna hoover and then on friday i'm gonna film my two haul i've hoovered and i've dusted and this is the full container um of my lashes this was from cherries um this container here but yeah so i've got all my lashes in here and pretty much most of them are gonna go but so this is the before this is from urban duchess it's like a luxury spoolie brush thing which i'm definitely keeping this is brand new low lashes i've got this in an advent calendar um so yeah and these as well are for new so i'll be keeping them pound lashes ones will all be staying let's just have a look through the rest of them this is currently what it's looking like not the best i may actually give those away as well um but yeah so these are the ones i'm giving away um tatty lashes so i'm not sure about them Meggy Lashes, a couple of other ones. Fern McCann, her range looks really nice from Poundland. But it's just taking up too much room. An old one of... Oh, I cannot remember the brand now. Um, well, she's relaunching soon, hopefully. But these are two stars of Baddie B from the Insta Collection from Pound Lashes. And I just, they didn't work for me. They worked for me when I was drunk putting them on. But Sober Since just hasn't been a good one. So yeah i'm in two minds though because i love urban duchess and this is a corals cosmetics they're gorgeous but you know what actually they're gonna go too um so yeah but all of these are gonna be pound lashes ones so let's go and get the oh, parcel here um they'll go in my makeup drawer but yeah there is loads to put in here makeup 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 well a couple of these are obviously going to charity but yeah so let's put all these in there so this is what it now looks like a hell of a lot better predominantly run by pound lashes but honestly that's one of my favorite lash brands if not my favorite lash brand so and i've got my and beauty ones under there so like lash extensions that i want to try um but yeah so i've kind of put them all together and these would be ones I may wear to work if I just wanted to brighten up my look a little bit and look like half asleep. Um, I did put these ones in, the ones that I got in the 
subscription box thing, Diva, because they're just a bit too much for me. So they'll be going in my giveaway box, um, along with these two items. We've got dinner. It's a recipe that mum found. Mushroom, spinach and tagliatelle pasta. And I have to say it smells amazing. Let's do a taste test. So. Mm. Oh, that's really good. It's now Monday evening. Um, it is the 16th of May. And I'm going to sort through these because these are the brushes that my mum gave me when she did a declutter. They're all clean. I'm going to put some in my giveaway box. Some are going to one of my friends and then some are getting sent off to Chloe, which she knows about with some other goodies. But I'm going to go through my skincare now because I feel productive because I've edited my day in my life video, which that's going to go up in private. I've got a new video going up tomorrow because my work hours have changed. So yeah, I'm going to go through these. Um, honestly, these bags are amazing. They'll be used for when I go on holiday because they're just... I'd rather reuse them than just recycle them straight away. So, I need to shove that in there. Oh, oh, right. So my skincare drawer is currently looking like this. I've got my old toothbrush in it. And loads of other bits and pieces that I just really need to go through. Um, so yeah, let's, let's empty it out. This is all the stuff. Um... I'm just going to work through it. There's some new bits in here that I really do want to try, especially with summer coming up. Um, I really do want glowy natural skin. When it comes to makeup, I know I like matte makeup, but when it comes to natural glowy skin, um, I like it. So, obviously, this is like the organiser, which has got a bit of dirt in it, from Home Bargains, I think, or B&M. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to go through these, see if there's anything in here that I can part with. This can go in a different drawer, so can this. But yeah, there's probably a few bits I could part with. I've got loads of my spot treatments, so I may give one of them away to give someone a try. No strips once again. Loose ones. I'm just not going to use them. Um, I've got all sorts of bits and pieces in here. This is my back of my glow. These cute little puffs that I'm going to put in my drawer. These that can stay in my drawer. I'm going to I'm gonna give this one away because it's cute. But I'm going to keep this one because it's really soft and it came from a really nice gift set for Christmas. Obviously I'm keeping these. Medication's gonna go in our medication box in the kitchen. This is, I don't know what that is, that can just go in the bin. This is an old um, cleanser. From W7. It's old, it's been open for too long, so I'm gonna throw that. Rubbish, toothbrush is gonna go in the bathroom. And then this is all the things I'm gonna decant between people, so that's not. <laughs> Um, eye mask, what treatment, some Bior no strips, some face masks, quite a few Disney ones. Oh no, I needed two of those. <laughs> um, this kind of sponge from Real Techniques, a lip mask that's unopened by W7, face mist from Beauty Bay, another face mask, um, a cow shed sleep pillow spray, which I'm actually going to give to Matt's mum because she absolutely loves those, and then a W7 browser kind of dupe, um, which has not never been used. So they're going to go. Um, and this is all the stuff that I'm keeping, so I'm going to organise this now and make it look a bit nicer. Um, and then I'm actually going to go through, whilst I'm here, I'm going to go through and go through one of my other drawers, like the body. Oh, don't mind my shoes. This is how it now looks a lot more nicely organised. Just a few bottled products, masks, mirror from by Caitlin Collection, which I use when I do my makeup. Skincare stuff looks a hell of a lot better. And then this is the drawer. I was on about because it looks insane um I've got so many new things in here I've got this is my bath and body drawer I've moved all like my bubble bars and stuff which are still in date um into the bathroom but these are some shampoos that I found body shop bits some snow fairy honestly I'm gonna live off this stuff some deodorants there we go and some other snow fairy bits in there this is my hair care drawer which is always gonna be a bit messy but that's fine and then this is what this drawer now looks like. Got a few more bits at the back, brush cleaners, Pandora cleaning solution, which I think I need to buy a new one at some point. And some other just random bits and pieces down there and body sprays. I forgot I've got a Miss Dior perfume and another mini version of it that my mum gave me and it smells amazing. <laughs> and it smells amazing. So they're all in there like that. It's that I am... The bits that I am decluttering as well. I found a little mirror, which I'm actually going to give as a birthday present to one of my friends because, you know, these are brand new and I bought some of them as gifts and then decided to keep them for myself. Um, and it's a thought that counts. I've got a couple of brush shampoos. Um, this, which I got in, you would have seen in my last video, Demo Life. Um, 
it's just not going to work for me so i'm just going to give it to someone that can actually give it a go another sheen sunday picnic product some bath bombs bath like skincare products makeup remover puffs that kind of thing so i'm going to separate them into three sections as in one for my friend one for my other well two right well they're all friends actually three packages um one for each friend um so yeah i'm gonna do that now so this is for one friend this is for another friend that is actually going in a giveaway box a giveaway box when i do a skincare one and then this is for another friend so i've done quite well and the sleep one is uh, sleep mist it's gonna go to matt's mum i'm actually gonna clean my brushes tomorrow now i'm not working which is really good this drawer of makeup which seems to not be holding as well um this stuff is all staying um so yeah none of this is going it's all stuff that i love and i'm gonna clean my <laughs> just clean everything up um but i'm just gonna quickly go through see if there's anything lingering in these drawers um, that I can give so I'm going to keep those of course I might just wedge them in together for now um, I really do like that product this is a very vegan highlighter brand new I'm just going to get rid this Christmas tree blender from Maggie Lashes we're just going to be organised about this and sort of just be a bit more sort of like I'm not going to use it so let's just part with it um in here is a bit of a mess so let's just get it out and work through it get it in a bit more detail I know the lighting's really crap but just bear with um I've got like face products and things in here and an eye palette so there's no space some lip oils that I do want to try or maybe one of a big size of the professional setting spray which I haven't tried the mini ones if I don't like the mini one then I will declutter this um lots of bits and pieces in there some spare palettes which to be honest i could probably part with two of them and my very fresh nikki tutorials tom's beauty bay palette which i got free when i spent too much money and it's actually a gorgeous palette honestly these shades are amazing so i'll definitely be experimenting more with them so yeah let's just go through this so i went through the brushes that my mom gave me and these are the ones i'm keeping as a real technics contour brush and some just eye blush uh, eye brushes because i can never have too many of those these are how now the, the, these containers are looking. The chocolate frog palette from Matt is just in with my face products because it's easier. Put the one lip oil I decided to keep and other bits just looking a bit neater. Backup eyeliners, some mascaras, things like that. Palettes I'm keeping, contour one which is very new. This very vegan which is the only thing from the set I'm actually keeping because I actually really like it. And the She Glam palette which can I just say is a smart cookie one. Look how nice that looks. And the names are on the back. So it saves having that crappy plastic one and i was working out the amount of brushes so between my friends um well two the two bundles um i've put one of them in just this the pound lashes <laughs> um packaging but this has got 14 brushes in and this one's got 14 brushes in um and these are the leftover makeup bits so i'm gonna put that one put the headband in that section um this is barely being used there's my two face sweet peach palette um So yeah, I've got, I forgot, I was going to give this away, but I just can't part with it because of the memories. The Sweet Peach Too Faced palette still going to stay in there. That one's going to go in there. Beauty Blend is going to go in that one. I'm just going to disperse it basically between um, the two packages, uh, three packages for people. And this little declutter. Um, I may even cut down some of my own brushes. I may clean them and like there's a few of them even now I can see that I wouldn't keep. And I've got loads of eye brushes, my tweezers and things. But obviously this drawer's stay the same that's my everyday go-to kind of makeup this drawer just looks a bit and i've got quite a big space there this drawer still looks chaotic but it's got a lot less stuff in it and i do feel a lot better about it this is my eyelashes which i'm just so happy about as you can tell one <laughs> favorite my st um, lash style that's just my sort of like doodle books and stuff like that skincare always looks better once i've sorted it out this drawer probably one of the best this drawer's still messy. <laughs> and then this drawer looks a hell of a lot better too.